So now what I want to do is address the final issue that this customer had. The complaint was that um, the car, every time the car would start up, the car would, um, would lift from the right side only. And uh, the, the car would continually, when the car is, in, when the car is idling, it will, the front will continually raise and then she can feel like the front will continually raise and drop and raise. So I did my due diligence already, run my codes, uh, made my necessary check, and I know what the issue is. And I'll show you that in a moment. I'll try and duplicate the situation so you can see it. I can tell you offhand that we have to change the right front strut because it's leaking. And I'm gonna try and duplicate the situation now so you can see it. So what I used guys was uh you know the soap water so you can see where the damage uh, to the air spring is and the leak is coming right out of the center where the nut sits so that's where our leak is coming from and that's why the suspension continually raises up and down because it's losing air So that's why we need to change the right front spring. That's where our leak is coming from and that's why the, the, the vehicle continues to raise up and down because it's losing air. So the, the compressor kicks in and tries to compensate for the air loss. Um, I, will, I will show you the comparative on the good side so you can see um, in that same area, if we repeat the process on the, on the, on the, on the, on the left side, that there's no air bubbles coming from that section. So there you go, dramatic difference. There's no air bubbles coming from this section, so we know that this section is fine. We know we've isolated our problem. The air leak is coming from the right front air spring, so that's the one that we're gonna focus on dramatic difference I want you to see that and now guys I want you to see that this vehicle is gonna drop and raise up just give it time and it's gonna do it hopefully we can capture it I really want you guys to see it there we go you saw that when it rose up just now that's the reason that's that that spring is causing the the compressor to overwork so we definitely need to change that air spring before it causes the compressor to continually overwork so it's time to I've, i just I, I went ahead i just went ahead and depressurized my air spring system so now I can go ahead and start to commence my work. So it's time to get the wheels off. So now I'm gonna go ahead, with my 15 millimeter socket, place it on this side, pull this end with my, turn, my 13 wrench, and then gun it off. Like that and then and 
get in at a try and get in at an angle. You guys can see what I'm doing. the ladder making sure this thing is sturdy four bolts on two three four so that's one two three I forgot to took that, take that out. with the old strut. <sighs> now we're coming in with the new, the unboxing. True. <sighs> Is this the right side you have? Yeah. So I think we, we set up like this. Yeah. Okay. 
So the big man gotta go and help me out. You can put that handle while I go up top and catch the boats. All right. Um, no, no, no. They are gone. Right there, your foot. Yeah, the big one. Oh, for that? Yeah, the big one go below. The way you don't be Mm -hmm. Okay, um, she gone there. Yeah, man. The other one go up top. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah,
So let's get this wheel back on. Strength, no weakness. Take that out. You gotta get uh, get this off. Push that back. Then we're gonna remove the this collar. Get something in between it so I can pry it open, and then we just stick it in there. Why you guys always do that? Why you? Why do you always have to think like that? I don't know what kind of stick it in there. You're thinking, all right? <laughs> Man, I'm gonna take this and place it there. Come on, guys. Dirty mind. Just making sure the line is secured. That's that. All right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to... Um, pressurize the suspension and allow the vehicle to raise up again and then we'll do our checks and see if we have not we, we have the same results of any ear pockets we want to just double check our work so you can see the difference now that we have a good strut in place and I'm gonna do that right now stay tuned All right, so at this time, guys, Gary's gonna close the door for us so we can watch the suspension raise up. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the, here we go. See that? Remember the clearance that we had before? Now my hand can clearly put it through there so the suspension has risen. But now we need to do the check that we did before using the soap water to see if we're having the same bubbling effect. If, they, if, if we're having the same bubbling effect, that clearly tells us that the suspension is leaking. If we don't, then we know we're good to go. So now we're going to go ahead and repeat the test that we did earlier using the soap water. But now we want to see if we have indeed fixed the problem. We want to see if this suspension is leaking like the one before. So let's go. See that? Here we go. Instant difference, guys. So what we had before, the moment we started to spray on it, spray the soap water on it, it was we could clearly see the air the air bubbles just blowing up. So that confirms that our repair is good. Another job. Well done. No leaks, no bubbles. Water is just here. Let me clean this up. So with that being said, I'm Christy. I want to thank you for tuning in to Road Hearts Apex. Until next time, remember to like, subscribe, share with a friend. Until then, peace.